Biscuits and tea. I actually agree. There's nothing. I mean, just we live in a society. Obviously, still gonna get over. How weird is it to be in in a in a country where uh, it's okay to and legal to smoke weed in the state next door to you? And like, imagine like you're in Utah or yeah, Utah, right? Say you're in Utah. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. No, 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 no. Probably. I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'm just guessing. But like right next yeah. to Colorado, and they're like, yeah. I, yeah. Fine. I. Nebraska and Colorado is a perfect. That's the perfect example because you have okay. a super red state and then a super blue state. I cross the border yeah. all, like multiple times a day where that changes. It's nuts. In Virginia, oh, really? multiple times a day, it'll be legal, not legal, legal, not legal. Just. And then you it's have weird. like it's the same thing as uh like back in the day with Missouri and Kansas, and I I don't exem- exactly remember what it was, but there was maybe a tax on hard liquor. And mm. people would always only go buy hard liquor in Missouri or I don't know. Oh the legal yeah. the legal age limit was eighteen, so you would have to go to Missouri side to get your alcohol and then come back to Kansas. Like it's just stupid. It's so yeah. dumb. At that point, you gotta wonder why we can't trust adults. Because no yeah. one's saying that's the part of the the movement. It's really weird. I guess there are just gonna be generational differences for everybody, but it's at, at what point do you just determine there's a really interesting dude named Graham Hancock that talks about this. At what point does someone else get to determine the, the, your level of consciousness? Yeah. At what point does someone get to determine you as a human, how you think, how you alter your consciousness? Uh, so, okay, alcohol obviously is going to alter your consciousness. You, oh we've all God, decided that. that it's kind of okay. It yeah. doesn't even do it in, in, a, in a way that's generally thought-provoking. Not many times the, the greatest inventions haven't come from no. people drinking alcohol. No, alcohol know, came and there are all sorts alcohol. of What's alcohol that? came from people drinking alcohol. So you, you <laughs> that right now. Yeah, I don't. Well, I just no, I don't. It's really hard to to wonder if we don't need to maybe push more personal responsibility or maybe deal with the issue. We're like we're like little kids running away from a problem. Yeah, everybody seems to in every single state smoke weed. Right, there's a giant section of people probably smoking or using weed in some capacity, right? And the yeah. state instead is just like, let's just, can we just lock these people up and just forget about it? Let's just, <laughs> can we just, just give him a, give him a slap on the wrist, put him in the thing, tell him not to do it again and just forget it. Well, he's still going to come out and still want to do it. Like you haven't solved anything. So maybe yeah. we should like figure out a different approach. Is that education? Is that legalizing it? Is that controlling the substance? Is that anything but just, hey, these people, you know, they smoke weed. You bad, you go jail. I yeah, mean, I, how I don't dare know. you? It's interesting. How dare you driving the Taco Bell at two in the morning? There was a, <clears throat> yeah, there was. There's a new documentary. It's really, really good on psychedelics, and I heard yeah, it. it's outstanding. I haven't finished it yet. We were watching it last night, and just to, like you know, looking at the perspectives and how the 80s and 90s handled you know psychedelics and even the 70s, I guess, and everything that was around the propaganda around it and the nonsense and demonizing it all. And then you start looking at all, and we've, we've talked about this before the medical benefits of LSD and all these, you know, life changing experiences that people have. And, you know, there's obviously ways to use this stuff that we haven't figured out in very positive ways. Whereas it makes you wonder why alcohol is so cool with (laughs) everything in our culture, you know, and we just let people just, drink as much as they want whenever exactly. they want just don't how drive many, yeah just don't drive but how many alcohol related deaths do you guys think happen how many drunk how many deaths are related not just to i'm not even just going to do drunk driving every day i want to know also i'll i'll i don't know i'll i'll google a year let me say in in one year how many alcohol related deaths that includes people that obviously unfortunately get either addicted to yeah. drinking they become alcoholics and they die yeah. from liver or, failure or, or the world or just like the u.s I don't know what stat we could we'll do. The US. US. Let's do the US. US. World's US. Just a big. I say, uh, I say that there's probably a, at least a hundred and hundred thousand people a year. I would say two hundred. That are like two thirty. In the U.S. Uh, before I type it in, uh, I'm going to say one hundred seventy-five. One hundred seventy-five thousand. One hundred seventy-five. I'll go on the high end. I'll just I'll say four hundred thousand. You're going deep. Okay, so it's less than that. Um, we got the stats here from February 4th, 2020. Uh, 
deaths that included alcoholism. So it says <clears throat> an estimated 88,000 people okay. die from so my alcohol. So 100,000 was more accurate. Okay. Sure. Making alcohol the third leading preventable cause of death in the United States. Do you guys know what the first two are? Preventable causes of death in the United Car States. Car accident? Opioids. What are the other two? Car accident? Uh, no and no. No. Uh, You're both wrong. Um, B's kind of on the right track. Cancer is not one of them. Preventable. Smoking cigarettes. Oh, okay. Boom. Cigarette? Nailed it. Number one, tobacco. What's the second uh, one? You guys are close. I think maybe I, I wasn't sure. It's preventable. What is the one thing America, Tom, one of the other things America did loves? Did just say just? Oh, obesity? Oh. Boom. Yeah. Food. Poor diet. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, to imagine, I, I don't know how high those ones are com comparatively, but, you know. So if you compare the way, cigarette deaths to, okay. for example, overdoses on LSD. Oh, oh, I don't know what that would be. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did that many people really die? How many people die from cigarette-related 800. Deaths each year. 800,000 a year? Yeah. No. It's 500,000. <clears> and a million people die. So, okay, so if, if the argument is that smoking marijuana is bad, is smoking that the argument? I just want to clear. Let's make sure we clear up their argument. Is yeah. that the argument? It's bad because why? I, I don't trying, know. I'm, not, I'm trying to understand you know. as well. Like, okay, so people obviously like, okay, well, they can't really argue about the whole smoking thing if people are eating it because it's obvious you can put, you can <laughs> right. eat it, yeah. you can drink it, like whatever. It, you want. Yeah. So I I know one of the arguments is, um, it's supposed to have a negative effect, like most drugs, on developing brain is one of the big ones. And a lot of people's okay. brains don't finish developing i think till they're 24 so i think that yeah that's some I think that's one of the big ones so yeah so i mean that's why we don't let kids drink alcohol in the united states right sure, but we still let them drink before their brains are developed i mm -hmm. mean 21 and in, and over in 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 europe over yeah. here they drink at 18 and i'm right next to denmark where they let them drink at 15 so this Smoking marijuana, it definitely doesn't affect your lungs like smoking cigarettes. What? Why? I don't know. It's not. Does I think it? it's like I don't not know. much. It doesn't? Like people just okay. chain, cause people chain some, like cigarettes and people go through like two, three packs a day. That's just a lot of. But is it about is it about the amount or is it about what the substances are that are coming into your lungs from tobacco and the chemicals and? I think it's a. Oh, I think there's probably more. There's more. If, if the question is, is what's more harmful to the populace, then I think there's no debate in that everything that's in cigarettes is there's more carcinogens and problems in cigarettes than there would be in something that is actually, you know. I mean, but then again, people aren't just smoking tobacco, right? When you get a cigarette, you're getting all sorts of other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not everybody. Like, what's just... the paper? Like, what are the harmful chemicals in cigarettes? I. I heard this thing when I was a kid that there was rat poison in cigarettes, but I don't know if that's I, true. There's just a crazy – I think it's just a list of 90 different chemicals, some crazy stuff. Okay. Harmful ingredients okay. in cigarettes. I got you, B. Nicotine, hydrogen cyanide, formaldehyde, lead, arsenic, ammonia, radioactive elements <laughs> such as uranium, benzene. It's disgusting. That's a sickening amount of – things that you would never ever put in yourself ever yeah so is it even the tobacco at this point that's causing like i don't think that so many... i mean i think that you could probably smoke your own tobacco like in an organic way you know paper way. and like is it Have, really gonna... yeah because when they were smoking tobacco when we were first coming overseas they're, they're uranium and all that stuff yeah, no, yeah, yeah, they're not putting, they're not putting ammonia, lead, arsenic, cyanide. They, we get like, did we get bored, Tyler? Like, we got, we we're like, oh, I, I somehow made, made it more addicting. It has just made it more addicting some way. Why is that in there? It's literally poison. That's just a list of poison. So why is that okay? I don't understand why that's okay. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm 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 literally I I this is the first time I've ever looked into. I've never inhaled anything ever in my life. I've <clears> never <throat> looked into why why is that okay? As I, someone who doesn't smoke, explain to me why I should tell I someone was, that it's okay to smoke it poison, just, but it's not okay for them to smoke a plant. I don't understand. Just As an outsider. Was, well, not really. I think they just got more powerful. I think it's just tobacco companies got bigger, quicker, and then they said we don't want any competition, so nobody can do this other alternative. It shouldn't be allowed. It should not be allowed. If we're going to ban something and put people in jail for it, like we should not allow people to smoke cigarettes. It's so yeah, dangerous. That, that's the way it looks like. That's the way, if half, half a million people died, that's affecting God knows exponentially how many families are affected and you know by that. Why is that okay? Dude, like, I mean, okay, I'm okay if we want to make marijuana illegal, but can we just make tobacco illegal too then? Might as well. I mean, well, I, I also don't think – I think it should be down to – I still think people should be able to choose. And yeah, really for the sure. issue is, though, obviously they should be able to choose because I think in moderation, the, the, whether, whether people like it or not, if, if somebody has one cigarette a year, it's unfortunately not going to hurt them if no. they smoke marijuana once a month <clears throat> or whatever it is. Unfortunately, you don't want to – no, you don't want kids smoking. You don't want to get kids that haven't formed their brains. You don't want them to do cigarettes. You don't want them to do marijuana. But at, at the same point, you don't want to lie to these people. Like what they did when I was growing up, and you, I don't think you guys got this as much. The Dare program, where they we tried to scare program. us. I got the Dare program. So they so tried bad. to just scare you instead of educating you. They just try and scare you away from it. So now you're you're you're, you're pretending like it's a thing, and then something happens later on. And I have had friends like this, that they were scared to do all this stuff because of it's going to do this, it's going to do this. And then what happens is that something happens. They go away from home, and yep. they don't have an ability to handle it. And they take they take one puff or one drink, and it's over. Yep. Life is over for the next five, seven years. They don't have any way of dealing with it properly like the, an adult. The other yeah. issue with that is, too, is they say they kind of group – they grouped all of these things into all one group and just said this is all terrible. This will all ruin your life. And then a kid, you know, he, oh, he smokes a joint and he's – oh, this didn't ruin my life. Well, like, I wonder if heroin – maybe heroin won't ruin my life yeah. either. And then – right. Ba the, the wrong yeah. effect. Yeah. So you were lying. Then the kid finds out right. you were lying. What else were you lying? You were lying about yeah. this one, this drug. Or were you lying about yeah. this one too? I don't you're lying know. About everything you're lying yeah. about Santa Claus. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What's going on? Yeah. Heroin. Here's the bigger. Heroin and the Santa bigger. Claus. Why are we lying about it? <laughs> Can we just educate? The bigger problem is why three, why three men that have nothing to do with the education system have to be having this discussion. When I wonder if, like, the closed door meetings for them are like, just just tell them no. Same with sex <laughs> and abstinence, like back at a certain time. They're just like, just tell them not to do it. Uh, what do you think, Bob? Yeah, I don't think he'll do it. I don't, I don't think. Yeah, like, they're Bob, smoking in there. Bob, did you wait till you're married to uh, have sex? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I didn't, Bob. Okay, Rob, go tell the kids <laughs> to go do that. <laughs> <laughs> go tell them to do that. Go tell them not to do any of those things. Don't arm them. You don't want to arm their brains. You got a bunch of. It's. That's a problem, man. That's yeah. a really – it's kind of a it problem. It also makes it a lot easier because when you're the high schoolers, they're buying weed from other high schoolers. But when you usually – I don't know how that It would works. be mostly they would be buying it from other high schoolers. But if you wanted to find alcohol, you usually had to find someone over 21 <laughs> and get alcohol. Adult. Right. <laughs> That's safe. <laughs> yeah. I know. You yeah. got 16 year old girls. I remember in high school, you got 16 year old girls driving up on Truce, which is not a good area of Kansas City, driving up right. to the alcohol shop in the back of the store sure. for the creep, the creep guy oh, to come out right. with the bag and give the high school girls, like, are you kidding me? Like, right. looking back <laughs> on that, man, like, what are you doing? You're going to yeah, get yeah. stolen. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's weird because in Europe, you know, it's very lax, but I wonder if alcohol related deaths in Europe are less than they are in the US because we're so I I can guarantee thing. that cigarette deaths are higher. You think cigarette well they do I definitely smoke, smoke more in Europe, I would compared imagine compared to the US. All right, let's see. I okay. smoked a cigarette in Paris because Okay. They were going to beat me up if I didn't cuz they just they <laughs> make you. Uh we uh we smoke here. Are you okay? Uh, you smoke, uh, you smoke uh, Not a fan. Not a fan. Don't understand <laughs> cigarette. it. Cigarette. Uh, you know. Yeah, it's uh, oh, yeah. I've never even actually smoked a cigarette. I've 
had like, some cigars and stuff, but I just get taste. And I, I don't even like cigars. Yeah, they made me sick to my yeah, stomach. And you need to go take a nap and hope you wake up feeling normal. Just I don't like it don't, at all. Sorry, I don't like tobacco about? at they all. Don't, I don't. They don't give you well. You, see, we've already established, but you didn't have tobacco. You had lead, arsenic, benzene, <laughs> <laughs> uranium. Like you didn't yeah. have tobacco. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, I um genuinely. Oh, we lost. We lost Will John oh. on the Google Hangouts. Oh, geez, Margie. Oh, shit. What? Sorry, guys. I'm still here. I'm still here. I will rejoin you in one nope. second. The reason I did that is because uh, I am looking at the uh, European. Yeah, while you're uh, yeah, while you're looking that up, that number, I do have a little uh, surprise. I got a player for right, hold us. Hold on. Hold on. Don't get into it because I'm back. Uh, that way we can actually make a, a full... In okay. rapid, there I'm back. Uh, let me just remute myself. All right. So Tyler, you wanted to say that European tobacco I, deaths, the death rate at least. I don't know what the more. population of Europe is as a whole. I don't know how what it would compare to the U.S., but you are correct in saying that it is more. No, 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 no. How much more? I would say 25, 30 million. million. 25 million people. No. If that was the case, I would be better. How dumb would humans be to have not? I would increase it. it to by like 30, 40 percent. Mm, no. Uh, uh, you're, you're a little, you're just a little mm. over. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, 700,000. Croatia's crazy. It blows my mind here. Yeah, everybody smokes there. In the Balkan region, everybody smokes. That's part of the culture. You have a coffee, you sit down, sit or go to a cafe. Everyone, dude. Everyone, everyone right there. Yeah, yeah it's crazy, dude. Smokes. That was the most yeah. amazing thing. They're like, you just go down, you sit at a restaurant, and then you just roll up your little cigarette and smoke it. I am a big fan of cafe culture. It's just the... I do love cafe culture. USA needs what, cafe culture. I don't know, B, how much you went to in France. That's what I spent my whole Yeah, week. I love it. I love All it. Yesterday, we were at the cafe from noon to eight, yeah. just just yeah. on the little terrace, just drinking and just eating some pizza, yeah. some yeah. lasagna. It was, it was awesome.